Good morning, everyone. My name is Jamil Johnson, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to the NASDAQ market site. The normal New York hustle and bustle has been amplified this week as the world's leaders have converged on the United Nations to discuss global concerns and hopefully global solutions. As the world's largest exchange company, NASDAQ OMX is privileged to host some of our foreign dignity, dignitaries and international organizations. This morning, we are honored to have as our guest his Excellency Sheikh Ahmed bin Jassim Athani, Minister of Economy and Commerce of the State of Qatar, and Dr. John Duke Anthony, President of the National Council on U.S. Arab Relations. And our special guest, the former First Lady and now the First Mother of the State of New York, Ms. Matilda Cuomo. Physically, the State of Qatar is a small country smaller in size than the state of Connecticut. But don't let its size fool you. Just as microscopic molecules provide the energy that powers the sun, Qatar's influence and impact in the Middle East and the world stage far exceed its geographic footprint. Qatar is one of the largest exporters of liquefied nat natural gas. It boasts one of the world's largest sovereign wealth funds that makes major investments in significant international projects, such as the Shard in London, industrial centers in China, and the city center in Washington, D.C., right across from NASDAQ's Washington office. Sheikh, thank you very much for improving the neighborhood. Qatar has become a major player in regional politics, bringing its diplomatic ideals and skills to bear in the major conflicts of the day in support of the hopes and aspirations of the citizenry. Its relationship with the United States is strong. Qatar hosts several U.S. universities in Education City because it long ago decided that despite its significant gas reserves, which has made it one of the richest populations per capita, it wanted a knowledge-based economy. And we all know the adage that knowledge is power. I've had the benefit of knowing Dr. Anthony and the National Council on U.S.-Arab Relations since 1999. Founded in 1983, the National Council on U.S.-Arab Relations is an American nonprofit educational organization dedicated to improving American knowledge and understanding of the Arab world. The Council's vision is a relationship between the United States and its Arab partners, friends, and allies that rest on a solid and enduring foundation. The Council seeks to enhance American awareness, knowledge, and understanding of the Arab countries, the Middle East, and the Islamic world. Its means for doing so include programs for leadership, development, people-to-people -people exchanges, lectures, publications, and an annual Arab U.S. Policymakers C C Conference, and the participation of American students and faculty in the Arab World Study Experiences. It was Dr. Anthony and the Council that first introduced me to the Arab world, and I've had the privilege of traveling to the region with him. Although he holds no major political t t title or is sitting on any vast fortune, none which I'm aware of, I believe he's one of the most respected Americans in the Arab world world. At this time, I would like to welcome His Excellency Sheikh Athani, Dr. Anthony, and special guest Matilda Cuomo to the stage. Mr. Johnson, Ms. Cuomo, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to be here today and thank you for inviting me to this uh, important uh, ceremony of uh, ringing the bell of NASDAQ. We are today celebrating the tie, the economic tie between Qatar and the United States. Uh, as you all know, Qatar is uh, very in much interested in invest investment in uh, a lot of companies, United States, some of them listed in NASDAQ index. The others is, as uh, Mr. Johnson mentioned, all around the United States. But also, Qatar, as a small country, 
is one of the uh, largest uh, or the mo uh, growth uh, experience one of the largest growth in the last year uh, worldwide um, now qatar consider uh, itself as uh, or we we uh, we know that qatar is the biggest lng exporter in the world we are playing a major role in the energy sector uh, but also we are uh, in investing a lot in the infrastructure, education, and healthcare, the prosperity, to build this pro prosperity for the Qataris people and the people who lives, the, who lives there. Uh, today is, uh, also, um, is also a time where all the world leaders come together, United Nations General Assembly, to talk about the uh, vision, or to reshape the vision toward prosperity and peace all around the world. And what a, what's a better time uh, to come together now and talk about how can we increase our economic tie and uh, increase the prosperity all around the world. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me here. I am very proud and uh, I'm very proud also to meet all of you, especially the first mother of New York or the first mother of the United States now. Uh, and. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Sheikh Ahmed, <coughs> uh, Jamil Johnson, uh, Mrs. Cuomo, and special guest, it's my privilege, honor, and pleasure to make a few brief remarks uh, regarding the state of Qatar that are little known to most Americans in terms of their information, their insight, their knowledge and understanding. Among these uh, remarks are the following, that Qatar is the location of the forward deployed presence of the United States Command, America's leading armed forces establishment uh, in the Arab countries, the Middle East, and the Islamic world. And it's played a vital role in the efforts to restore security, stability, peace and the prospects for prosperity in Afghanistan and Iraq in particular. It's also been chosen among many competitors throughout the United Nations General Assembly's 193 countries gathered here this week uh, to host the 2022 uh, football games uh, for FIFA. It is also a pioneer and has been for some time since 1995 in modernizing and projecting the best quality of programs, content, substance, and process in Arab media uh, communications through its Al Jazeera Arabic and English uh, networks uh, internationally. Its airlines, Qatar Airlines, <laughs> reaps one after the other first place awards in various categories uh, of excellence, uh, one year uh, after the next. It's also a model of the potential uh, that exists in the country and its citizens uh, for a booming economic trajectory at the time of other countries' economies' uh, downward spirals, and not least because of the country's youth, uh, which uh, is halfway or half of the population under 25. Uh, in all of this, uh, the National Council has been pleased and privileged to be a partner uh, each of us seeks to pursue the other's legitimate needs, concerns, interests, goals, and aspirations. Uh, we're both on a roll and a run, and we're honored especially to be here with Mrs. Cuomo, uh, the first mother of the state of New York, and the chairperson and founder of uh, Mentoring USA, which works with abused children and mentoring uh, of children. Yes, and it is our pleasure to be able to offer you this commemorative crystal. <laughs> 